What happens behind the scenes after you git push to deploy on Ford Rabbit? Let's have a look on how deployment works on a production app in slow motion. You git push the master branch to Ford Rabbit. This updates the remote repository. After a successful git receive, the build part starts. The Ford Rabbit deployment file, if available, gets passed. This file belongs in your repo. It's where you find you in your deployment setting. It's optional. Composer install is triggered next. This, of course, only happens when a composer log file is in place. A vendor folder from the previous build is merged into the new build. So only new composer packages are getting downloaded. This little trick helps us speed up things dramatically. If everything succeeded so far, your post build script runs. This can be anything from cache clearing to third party integrations. Mm, think of a Slack message, for example. Again, an optional step. After this, the build part is finished. It's time to release. To move things around quickly, the now complete code base gets compressed into a release package. This gets distributed to all the app nodes. In this case, the app runs on two different PHP nodes. The nodes implement the new release and gracefully restart their services. So that's basically it. The speed of such deployment cycle depends on various factors. The initial deploy takes much longer, as all composer packages need to be installed. Also, the larger your code base, the longer it takes to deploy, of course. But in general, it's just a matter of seconds from the time you type git push until you can view the results in the browser. <laughs>